Hello everyone, Emily here. I am going to make a Christmas toilet paper holder. So I have bought white, Red Heart Super Saver White, Red Heart Super Saver Green, and then I have the Red Mainstay. And um, I think that it's pretty comparable, so I don't mind mixing my two yarns. I have a crochet hook here. It is pretty small. It's a 4.25. I'm going to use this. I kind of want it to be nice and tight. So let's go ahead and make us a decorative toilet paper holder. First thing we're going to do is make a magic ring. So I'm just going to take the yarn and you take it like this and then cross it over. Take your hook. Go under, grab it, and you have your magic ring. So, what I'm going to do is put 12 double crochets in this ring. So I'm going to chain two. One, two, and this is going to count as my first <clears throat> double crochet. So I'm going to yarn over. I'm going to start doing my 12, and as I go, I'm going to make sure that I'm going over this tail. So do 12. So I have 11 on here right now. I'm going to do one more. And I'm going to pull my tail here and you can see how it's going to make that nice and tight. That's nice. Alrighty. I'm going to go ahead and go to the top of the chain two, that first double crochet, and I'm going to do a slip stitch. And we're going to go ahead and do our next row in white. We're going to chain one and in the back loops only we're going to do two single crochets, oops, curse of using a small needle or hook. We're going to do two single crochets in each stitch all the way around. Back loops only. I went all the way around. I'm just going to go to the top of the chain two and I'm going to do a slip stitch and I'm going to change my color. See how nice and flat that lays? That's really great. My next color I'm going to use, I'm going to use the green. And we're going to start doing our mosaic, our pretty pattern. So I'm going to leave the white attached. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, pull my green through. I'll pull that white nice and tight. I'm going to chain one. Chain two. Double of two. And we're going to do um, a single crochet in the next stitch. And the next one, we're going to go down below in that front loop that we did not use. So we're going to yarn over. We're going to go here and go right below the next stitch. We're going to go right below and go in that stitch. We're going to grab our yarn and do, whoops, let's see, we're going to go under. Do it a little bit slower here. Grab your yarn and bring it through and just pull it up a little bit so it's not real tight. And you're going to finish your double crochet. Okay. And you want to make sure that you get the stitch right behind that double crochet. And make sure that you're going in the back loops only. Okay. So we're going to do two more single crochets. 
and we're going to do three. There we go. So we have our double crochet. We went in behind that back one and then we did three more. So we did a total of four. So we're going to go the next one and go down below. We're going to yarn over and we're going to pick it up and we're going to pull it, pull it, <clears throat> pull it out a little bit so it's not real tight and finish your double crochet. Then we're going to go behind here. Make sure you get that single crochet behind your double crochet. And then we're going to go three more single crochets. Now we're going to go to the next one and go down below. Do our double crochet, yarn over, we're going to pull that through, and finish our double crochet. So you can see the pattern is you're going to have one of these loops in between each of your double crochets. So make sure that you get the, the stitch behind your double crochet, and then you're going to do three more. Now we're going to yarn over and go right below. Again, we're going to have one in between each one. Grab your yarn, you're going to pull it out so you have some extra, you don't want it to be too tight, and finish that double crochet. Make sure that you get that stitch behind. Do your single crochet, and then you're going to do three more. So that's a total of four. We're going to yarn over. We're going to go right below. Remember, there's one in between each one. We're going to pull our yarn up, finish our double crochet. Make sure you get that stitch behind your double crochet, and then three more. So, you can see here, if you go down, it's right here. So we're going to yarn over, and we're not going to get this one right here. We're going to go down below it. Can you see that? We're going to go in here. And we're going to pull it up. So when we started, we did have one, two. We're going to make sure that we don't skip this one right here in the back. And I have this opening here. So now we have the three in between and one opening. So we're going to do a slip stitch right here above, oops, back, back stitch only. There we go. So that's really pretty. It almost looks like a little snowflake. Perfect. So we're going to get the red. Nope, you know what? I think I want to use the white for the next one. So I'm going to just grab my white and bring it up. Now remember, this is just going to go over the toilet paper holder. So nobody's going to see that inside. So I'm going to chain one. Pull that tight. And chain two. So the first thing, trying, I didn't think about my pattern right off the bat. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a single crochet in that first stitch. And then down here below on this side of the green. We're going to go into that front loop and we're going to do a double crochet. We're just going to pull it up so it's not too tight. And then we want to make sure that we go behind it. We never want to miss the hose. And then I'm going to do a single crochet right over the green one. The next one, we're going to go into that opening. 
pull it up, double crochet. I'm going to do a single crochet right behind that double crochet. I'm going to do another single crochet in the back loops and then I want to go down below. So I'm going down below on each side of the green. Make sure that you get that back single stitch behind your double crochet. And then you're going to do a single crochet right on top of this, this uh, green double. Okay, so now here I'm going to do another double crochet because it's on the other side of the green. And then we're going to make sure that we get that stitch in the back. So you're going to do a double crochet on each side of the green. Make sure that you get your, your stitch behind there. And then the one above this one in the back loops, double crochet. Your next one, you're going to come down on the side of this green double crochet. Make sure that you go on the back and that's your pattern. Just keep doing that all the way around, okay? So I went all the way around. It looks really good. I'm really happy with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and use red next. So you can see here I did my double crochet. I made sure I went behind and did my single uh, crochet. And now I'm going to go ahead and go into, I'm going to go into this right here. And instead of bringing my white through, I'm just going to grab the red. And I'm not cutting either of the colors off. I'm just going to grab the, the red and bring it through and do my slip stitch. That really is the correct way to do it, to make it nice and clean. I haven't had a problem with it yet, but I'm going to start doing the red. And I'm going to chain, I'm going to chain two, okay. So I'm looking here and I think I'm going to do a single crochet in the back loop only in the first. And then I'm going to yarn over in this white one, this white double crochet, I'm going to go totally behind it. I'm going to grab my yarn and bring it through and finish this double crochet. Okay. I'm going to do a single, oops, let's see. I want to make sure I don't miss one right behind it. Because every time you do that, you are increasing. I'm going to do a single crochet in the next one. And the next one. So there's three single crochets. And then I'm going to go around and go behind that white double crochet. I'm going to do, again, three single. Make sure you go behind and get behind this red double crochet. So there's three. I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to go behind this whole stitch. I don't miss that one behind. This is going to be your repeat all the way around. So a total of three single crochets. I'm going to yarn over and go behind this white and pick it up. You can see the pattern. and do three and then another double crochet and go behind the white double crochet from the last round. Okay, so that's your pattern. Just keep doing that all the way around. 
Isn't that a pretty snowflake? It's just pretty. So I'm here at the end. I'm gonna do my last double crochet under that white. Double crochet. Let me make sure I get in the back here. And another one. And I'm gonna connect to this one right here. I'm gonna go in the back loop. And I am gonna change my color. I'm going to change it to white, so I'm just going to go back here and I'm going to grab my white up and I'm going to pull it through. I'm going to pull my red tight. I'm going to chain two. Grab me some yarn here. Alrighty, so I am going to go into this space here and pull up my my white. So I'm just going to yarn over right away. I'm going to go down in here and get that front loop white one and do a double crochet. Make sure that you go behind there and you do a single crochet because we are increasing. So that was three. And then I'm going to do a double crochet in that white front loop down below. I'm going to make sure I get behind. And I'm going to do three. I'm sorry, four. I'm going to yarn over, go down and get that white front stitch. Make sure I go in the back and I'm going to do four. So that's going to be our repeat row. Four single crochets and a double crochet down below. That's my fourth one and I'm going to go down below. There we go. So just go ahead and do that all the way across. That is so pretty. So you might want to grab your toilet paper roll and see what it looks like. So I think I'm going to go around one more time. Of course, I did use this really small needle, this 4.25. So if you used a 5.00, your stitches might be larger. So you might be ready to start going down the edges. So I'm going to go around one more time. If you're ready to go down the edges, just stop where you are and uh, go with me on the next the next uh, row. But this will be my last row for the top and then I'll start going down. My next color I wanna go to is gonna be the green. So I'm just gonna bring my color up. I'm gonna go ahead and, whoops stopped without connecting. So I'm going to go into the top of the chain three and grab that green and pull it right on through. I'm going to pull my white one pretty tight there and I'm going to chain two. So I'm looking at this and I'm thinking how pretty it is. I believe I am just going to do single crochet in the back loops all the way around. And then our next row, we will get ready to start uh, going down the sides. So just do a single crochet, I'm sorry, a single stitch in every one all the way around. I went all the way around with the green and I'm going to do my next row in green. So I'm just going to go ahead and slip stitch in that chain to the top of that chain two. And I'm going to put it on my toilet paper roll. And it fits perfect. Alrighty, I'm going to do my next row in green. So I'm just going to start going this way. 
I'm going to have it end just before I get to the bottom because sometimes when it touches the bottom, it seems to get all crinkled. So, but my top, I'm very happy with it. I think it turned out really good. It looks like a snowflake. So, we're going to go ahead and start doing our edge. Take my green. And I think I'm just going to take my ends and uh, put my, my green one over it here in the back. Just to kind of hold it. So when you put your toilet paper in and out, I'll take these uh, these little straggly ends and cut them off. But the, the long pieces, if I can just keep them buried right here, going all the way down. I think that saves yard, so I'm not saves yarn, so I'm not cutting them all the time. So for this one, we're gonna um, chain two, do a single crochet. I'm sorry, a double crochet. We're going to do one double crochet in the back loops only all the way around. I went around with my double crochet in the back loops only and you can see how it's starting to turn. Let me put it on top. I really like it. Really, really like it. So, I went all the way around. And now I'm just going to go to the top of my chain two and I'm going to do a slip stitch. Oh, you know what? I'm going to change my color. Sorry about that. So since I'm going to change my color, I think I'm going to go to white. I'm going to do a slip stitch at the top of the chain two. And I'm going to pull that green nice and tight. I'm going to chain two. And I'm going to do a single. I'm going to do a single crochet all the way around in each stitch. And that's going to be our pattern for this row. So go ahead and go all the way around. I went all the way around. Now I'm just going to go into the top of the chain and I'm going to do a slip stitch and I'm going to change to the color red. I'm just going to grab it, pull it through both loops. I'm going to pull that white, make it nice and tight. And I think I'm ready to chain two. I think I'm ready to do a design here. And I just wing it. I just wing it all the time. So we're going to do a single crochet, single stitch, and two. We're going to yarn over and go to the front loop of the green. And that's going to be our pattern. And we do not want to go behind this double crochet. We're just going to skip that one. When we were going behind and um, catching that stitch, we were increasing. And we don't want to increase anymore, so we're just going to skip that. So I'm not going to go to the one behind. I'm going to go to the next one. So we're going to do two single crochets. And then we're going to do a front post, I believe it's called. But we're going to go down below and pick up. Okay. Make sure you pull it up a little bit. You didn't do a very good job of that one on that one because you don't want it to be too tight. Just make sure you look because you don't want to get that stitch right behind. You want to go to the next one. And that is going to be our repeat pattern for all the way around. So I'm going to grab my white up. And 
And I'm going to go in the back stitch. And I'm going to pull through. I'm going to pull this red nice and tight. And I'm going to chain two. There we go. Wow, doesn't that look cute? So here's the top, and you can see that we're starting a really cute little pattern. Okay. With my um, white, what I'd like to do is I am going to yarn over and I'm going to go down below and do a double crochet right next to these red ones. So it's going to be one, two, single crochets, yarn over, go down below, go into that white, pull your yarn through, do a double crochet, make sure we're not doing behind that double crochet. So it's two, yarn over, and grab that white yarn in the front and do a double crochet. So two single crochets. Your last um, single is going to go right over this red double crochet. And then you're going to do your double right next to that red one. Okay, That's an easy way to, to see it. So you can see the pattern that we're getting. And we're going to do that all the way across. I went all the way around and I'm going to do my last single crochet above this double crochet and I'm going to go in here above this white double crochet. Oops, I'm changing my color. So before I pull that through, let's go ahead and change our color to green. Sorry about that. I'm going to go in. I'm going to pull my green up. I'm going to pull it all the way through and I'm going to pull this white tight. The white nice and tight. And I'm going to chain two. So this is how it's going to look when it's sitting on your, your toilet paper holder. This one, it's going to kind of be repetitious now. So we're going to go into this first stitch, single crochet, right above this white one. Now, right next to this white double crochet, we're going to yarn over, and we're going to do a double crochet. And we're going to do the same pattern. We're going to do two single crochets and a double crochet right next to the white double crochet, the white double from the last round. So it's going to be the same pattern, two single crochets, single stitches, two single stitches, and then a double. Bring it down right next to the white and just keep doing that all the way around. Make sure that you do not go behind your double crochet because remember if you do that you're going to be increasing and we don't want to be increasing anymore. Alrighty. So let's just do that all the way around. I went all the way around. I am going to join it here, not at the top of the chain two, but the next one. And I am going to change my color to white. So I'm going to grab it and pull it through both. And I'm going to pull my, pur my purple, my green really nice and tight. And I'm going to chain two. Now we're going to just keep doing the same pattern all the way to the bottom. I think we did it enough now that you can see how the pattern's going. And we're just going to continue to do two single stitches and then next to the previous double crochet, double stitch, we're going to do a double stitch right next to it. Two single double stitch. And you're just going to do that with each round that you go around with each color. 
and it's going to give you a really pretty design. So just keep doing that all the way to the bottom. And then when you get to the bottom, and it's as far as you want on your toilet paper holder, and then you will know uh, when to end it. And I think this is absolutely beautiful. So let's come back when you get to the end. I finished my toilet paper holder. I'm really happy with it. I love the top, how it looks like a snowflake. And then the side, it's that mosaic pattern. And I really like it. I think it is absolutely beautiful. Very, very happy. And I am working on another one, so I'll show you that one when I'm done. But, um, yeah, it turned out beautiful. I hope you like the pattern. I hope I did a good job of showing you how to do it. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I really enjoy doing these tutorials. So have a great day. Stay safe. And I'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye.